My name is Rathony, welcome back to Slay the Spire as we are continuing with our exploration of the new character, Marissa. Alrighty then. Not only that, but now we have the ability to go to the heart. So let's see if we can make a Marissa build that can take down that heart. Uh, lose all gold in order to obtain two random colorless cards. Most of them tend to be zero cost. <gasps> okay, we got insight. Look at the top three cards of your draw pile. Add one of them to your hand. Upgrades to top five. Okay, I thought it was add two to your hand, but never mind. Top five. Okay. I mean, that's just another card, right? It, it's a card that is zero cost, both in energy and card cost, because it replaces itself. So, well, I mean, unless it's the bottom card of your deck. But that's just another charge up for us. Awesome. Uh, then we've also got enhanced ability. Gain either one strength, one dex, one focus, or 10 temporary HP. Uh, and the upgrade is to 20. I wonder if this will count as two cards played for the sake of Mini Hakuro because you have to make the decision in this card. Hmm. No clue, no clue, no clue, no clue, no clue. Uh, but almost always the correct play for me there is going to be temporary HP. Almost always. We can even see the buffed elite there. Ooh, I like it, love it, want more of it. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Uh, ooh. Enhance ability, bows endurance, and it did only count as one. Right. Good. Oh no. Insight for a defense. Then double defend and strike singularly. And then next turn, I'm looking for like a spark. Hey, there we go. Master spark for the kill. Energy recoil. I kind of want to do a build where I just stack up a bunch of charge up and then blow up an enemy. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. That sounds like a hell of a lot of fun to me. So we're going to have to find ways to make that occur a little bit faster. Insight to enhance, enhance to 10 temporary. 10 temporary is a lot for one energy. It's really good. Looking for Master Spark for the kill. Oh, there we go. Refraction Spark. Oath Cloud, yes! Yes! Now, Refraction Spark. Deal four damage, increase the damage of all spark cards in your hand by the damage dealt. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, that's powerful. But if I want to stall, Oort Cloud is what I'm going for here. And I do want to stall, so Oort Cloud's what I'm going for there. I'll take the HP rather than losing the max HP. I took the worst card there. Because I'm just going to be defending this turn anyway. Alrighty then. Fort Cloud and Defense. Oh, yes. Master Spark for the kill there. Luminous Strike versus Double Spark versus Non-Directional Laser. Uh-uh-uh. Uh, none of that for me, thank you. Upgrade Enhanced Ability? Sure! <laughs> oh, that's really good. Try and charge up our charge up. Hmm. I do want the 20 temporary HP. Oh, gosh. This is so good. Insight gives us a card we don't want. But it's okay. We should still probably wake the enemy up there. Hmm. 
All right. Fully defended that turn. And ready for our Master Spark this turn. Taking seven. All right, we're very close to the kill here. Insight to pick up a defend, and then... Uh, I should have done the 63B first. That's my bad. I could have two more charge up already. There's 30 there. And now we get Inside into Master Spark, Master Spark into Lethal. Blood Violet, the start of each combat heal for 2 HP, as well as the Emerald Key. Ori Sun, whenever Charge Up is consumed. Ah ha ha! Now, this is what a lot of people uh, clarified for my sake, but also it seems to have now been clarified in the card text. Whenever Charge Up is consumed, deal 8 damage to all enemies, upgrade 11 to all enemies. I don't want binary stars. Um. See, I don't really want to consume my charge up often, so I don't know about Rory's son here. And pass. All right. Let's get Orth Cloud upgraded for two extra plated, uh, plated armor. Oof, that's powerful. Oh, that's so good. Our defensive suite here is just really overwhelming for the enemies. Uh, okay. So, big old master spark right there. Even follow up with the defend and... Yeah, this should pretty much just be lethal. You upgrade versus double... No, none of those. Duct tape versus sapphire key. Oof. So I've heard that apparently if you duct tape... Uh, if you duct tape a... An amplify card to another card, you can trigger the amplify effect without playing, uh, paying the amplify cost. I'm going to duct tape Oath Cloud and Enhance Ability together, and we'll see how this goes. This is going to be really interesting to see whether it works or not. Yeah, no, I only paid two, and I got the I got the effect. <laughs> That's such a strong defensive power now. We strike. I'm actually gonna insight here so that I can kick in an amplified attack. Okay, and kill him. 10-foot pole, you take 50% less damage outside of combat. You cannot be surprised or caught off guard by mimics. Witch of Greed is something that, like, because we're going to stall for a while. So Witch of Greed, I think I would often be able to play. Especially this early, it seems like a really good idea. Okay. Uh, duct tape there. Get every HP. Insight for... Sure. Zero cost that we can actually play this turn. Witch of Green defend. Okay, I shouldn't be spending one of my potions in this combat. Just because I'm going to get one back. Got a feeling this one's gonna go down well in the long run. Charging up. 
Yes, extremely. That's very much the kind of thing we're looking for. Uh, Galactic Halo. Yes. Gain 12 block and 2 charge up. <laughs> oh. All right. We can now probably afford to remove a couple of these defends. We've picked up almost nothing but defensive cards so far. Right, I'm going to power potion for... Ooh, Orb Club. What if you gain block out of spark to your hand? That's that's still really good. No, I'm just gonna try and defend as best I can this turn. So I'll be taking three damage here. Get us the duct tape. The duct tape gets us the bear's endurance. One more strike on that frontliner, and then a master strike is enough to take them down. Mm-hmm. Master spark, sorry. We can insight for a daze just to get out of the deck. We are now literally incapable of taking damage. So I think actually what I should be doing at this point is just getting to the second charge of charge up. Uh-huh. And then destroying an enemy outright with the with the major spark. Awesome. Boss this floor. Ooh hoo hoo! We can take our time on that boss. Hell yes. The Guardian, by the way. That should have been Strike first, then Guardian Halo, by the way. A little bit of misordering. Eh, it's okay. I'm just going to set them to the point that any kill, uh, any attack will kill them next turn. And to prove it, I'll use my worst attack. Oh my gosh, Molten Egg. Whenever you add an attack card to your deck, upgrade it. Yeah. Uh, Grand Cross and Pulse Magic have turned up. Amplify, you don't need to pay any extra to Amplify effects this turn. The only card that would work on is... Oh, is... Okay, the only cards. Wish of Greed is played once per combat, but then Master Spark is played once. Uh, not once, multiple times. Pulse Magic is probably not a good idea to pick up here. Grand Cross, cost zero if you've activated an Amplify this effect this turn. I wonder if that counts as having activated an Amplify effect, the fact that I'm cheating out the Amplified effects of uh, Orth Cloud. I would be unsurprised if it did not count. Which is to say, I would be surprised if it did, but in a different, more annoying way. This just gives me time to develop my Witch's Greed and then block. Oh, this is going to be really good. I'm just going to blow up the acid slime in a single hit. It's going to be awesome. Okay, 24. <laughs> ah, strength potion, speed potion. Second witch... No! I really wanted the second witch of greed, but that's energy flow, which is the whole point of this deck. Gain two charge up at the end of your turn. Yes, thank you. Yes, and I would like that charge up. Oh, this is going to be really good. I'm so excited. I'm damn near giddy. When I say damn near, I mean literally just am. I guess. So here's the concept, right? I just straight up never transform the enemy. I just stand here until I can kill them in a single attack. That's what I want to try and do. I think that's going to be super fun. Damn it. <laughs> We're getting closer. It's probably not that far off. We 
go. And... 40. So now we're five times damage. Uh, not five times damage. Okay, so it's, uh, it's two to the power of five damage. So what? It's two, four, six, eight, sixteen. So it should be sixteen times damage now. Yeah, it looks like it was. Receive a rare relic as well. Awesome. Uh, liquid bronze versus languish potion. Those are probably both better. I want defensive stuff. An absolute magnitude. What is this? What is this life I'm living? Exactly what I want, and it's pre-upgraded from the molten, uh, molten egg. Thank you. Uh, all right, we will we'll accept the rare relic now. We got Joker card. Every 15th card you play is played twice. We're going to try and queue that up to hit our powers. Pendib's going to be really good. Warding shard's pretty good. Sprinkle star seal is actually really good for us as well. All right, all of those are pretty good, so I'm actually not going to be avoiding... Special Sausage. Upon pickup, choose to start each combat with either two Strength, two Dex, or two Focus. Also, RNG, gain energy and... Just energy twice, I think it is. Uh, randomly run, it, run into a knob. This is a 30% chance to randomly run into a knob. With this deck, I'm going to be playing a lot of powers. Sorry, a lot of skills and a lot of powers and just stalling. I can't have an enemy that's going to scale off of that. It's... It's too much for me. Um, I'm worried that my entire hand would fill up if I took Runic Pyramid. And it would fill up with cards I don't necessarily want to keep in my hand. Like, obviously, I want to keep Absolute Magnitude in my hand. And I want to keep Charging Up in my hand. Uh, uh, I feel like I would need extra energy to play out enough cards. But I guess that incentivizes putting some more zero cost cards in my deck. Special sausage is interesting. Like, a relic that just gave you plus two strength or plus two dex or plus two focus, I don't know if it would be worth a boss relic. The choice? The thing is, you choose when you take the relic, not when you start each combat. I think it's possible the correct choice is to take the special sausage for decks. Just to help us defend more. Yeah. That's a good old seasoned sausage right there. Found lying around the spire. Should be safe to eat. There's a three elite path I'd like to go down. There's our duct tape. Bears endurance gives us 20. And then... Defend so I don't lose any HP. Energy flow insight. Take out a spark. Uh, I'll defend and then master spark. For no reason but to get another charge up there. Absolute magnitude is now 62 damage. It's getting real close. Ooh, we get. Oh, there's the charging up. Boom. <laughs> Starlight Typhoon. Deals damage equal to three times the number of cards you have played this combat that cost zero to all enemies. It is very, very, very good. I desperately want to do a Starlight Typhoon build. This is not that. Uh, Magic Absorber, gain eight lock, remove a random debuff from yourself. Yeah, sure, that could actually be pretty relevant. And also, it's just like a better defense for us. Oh, I can't take Mayhem because it'll use my energy when I don't want it used. But obviously, I'm looking at treasure map here. The maps now show what relics can be found in treasure and elite rooms. Because being able to decide what relics I take with this build... Yeah. Ooh, new potion. Shroom Brew. 
Exhaust a card. The effect of this potion. Oh, so it's it's uh, this is gonna be from Marissa mod then. Because there's a card that does that in the Marissa mod. Ah, you can't surprise me, you mimic. Although I don't think that mimic in particular does surprise. Okay. And I'd have loved to play charge. Ah, no, I forgot about the Joker card. I got to keep that in mind. Uh-huh. Thank you for leaving me with some HP. Have you languish? I probably don't need the treasure that's going to be provided here. Mm -hmm. Would much rather just kill. Although I will take two. Metronome increases strength for each sequential attack played up to a maximum of 10. Playing a non-attack or losing HP resets the bonus to zero. We are going to get no bonus at all from that. Huh. Another charging up and another into gal uh, galactic halo. I think I take charging up here. And the reason is just because we have the absolute magnitude... We don't have four energy yet, so we can't play Galactic Halo and Galactic Halo in the same turn, or Galactic Halo in Absolute Magnitude. But charging up means that on our first shuffle, we can have a ridiculously powerful Absolute Magnitude. Gotta remember, my first card played this turn is gonna be played twice. Yeah. Let's uh, just double charge up and then gain a ridiculous amount of block. Ah, uh, Magic Absorber just turned up. That's really unfortunate. Could have used it later on to purge the debuff. I wanted to play Witch of Greed. I want the extra money. Right. Dunk him with the damage. Swift Potion's better than the other for us. I don't want one time off. My entire build is about charging up. Ugh. It's the holy bat. My build isn't really going to be able to do much about that. I just kind of have to wait until I get all the infernal breeze. Play two witches' greeds there. I'm going to keep that. Actually, you know what? There we go. I'm going to try and keep the Joker card as close to my line of sight as possible. Yeah, there's no need to take any damage there. There's Endurance as well as Charging Up. Perfect. And we are set. There's a lot of damage right there. None of those. None of those are necessary. I could upgrade some cards. Healing Shard, Top Hat. Okay, so Healing Shard is the end of combat for each act you've climbed. Heal one at the end of combat. Uh, top Hat is if you would overdraw a card this turn, draw it next turn instead. Dentures is way better than either of those. And I get two rests. Good thing we have the map. Damn. Damn, map. Back at it again with the Dentures planning. So Dentures is uh, when you play a power 50% of the time, put that power back in your discard pile. Uh, or rather, put that power in your discard pile as well.
So you get a lot of powers out. Magic Absorber to remove my debuff. <laughs> oh, I need to get back to Witch of Greed, so I don't actually want to use Charging up here. Because then I'm just going to be tempted to blow up the enemy. Obviously misordered that. I keep forgetting about the Joker card. That's on me, though. It's because it's so far apart as 15 that I just forget about it each time before it turns up. Now I'm the Witch of Greed, and then I'm just going to simple spark for the kill. Dentures. Whenever you play a power, add a copy of it to your discard pile 50% of the time. Essence of Steel is particularly powerful as well. <laughs> Task of the Star. We would be able to play a lot of those. All right. Mm. I'll upgrade the Galactic Halo. Lantern versus Sapphire Key. We don't need the extra energy. We just don't. We do. We do need the extra energy. We just do. All right. The boot. Ugh. Lame. Old coin, though. Hell yeah, let's go get that three hundo. That's shameful. We need to find a way to get this duct taped card innate. Alright, we've got double up on our next card. Doubling up on energy flow would be hilarious. So, of course, that's what we're going to do. Plus six charge up at the end of every turn. I obviously have to play the Witch of Greed there. Don't have much of a choice in the matter. We're going to get to some truly astronomic... Yep. That's a lot of damage. And we should pretty much be prepared to destroy the Mystic with basically anything here. I've elected to destroy them with time. Okay. Those extra cards are just there. I play them so that I can increment the Joker. Deep Ecological Bomb. No, I don't need to do that. Damn. Unplayable Soulbound! Damn it. That's really bad. That's really bad for us. Alright. I shouldn't have risked it. Now that that card, like, now that faulty equipment exists as a curse, I... I'm just going to have to be far... I, I'm, I'm just going to have to be far more cautious about taking any curses. Because that's a curse I literally can't remove from my deck at all. It's not like it's going to cause me a lot of trouble. I cannot remove it. Which probably means that anything that gives me a random curse is now just going to be off limits for me. Ah, well. Magnitude. Somehow, I think this is probably the right run to discover that. More Witch of Greed. Okay, so I tested this in my own time because I wanted to see if there was a new relic. If I elected to take the other option, there is not. So I will lose my HP. You don't actually lose all of it there. Hilarious. If I attack here, I just heal and then walk away. Um, so I'm going to take the heart. 
Uh, Bottle Heart, upon pickup, this relic gains charges equal to half of your max HP, and your max HP is reduced to one. Start with temporary, uh, start each combat rather with temporary HP equal to the relic charges. Any charges changes made to max HP since will affect it instead. That's just a ridiculous amount of defense for us. <gasps> Duct tape got added to our discard pile. So did energy. So did Witch's Greed. Oh, this is excellent. Yeah, I'm just going to have to magnitude you. Sorry. Spr Whoa, it has a little thing to tell me that that's part of the quest. That's so cool. Oh, you done it again. Done it again, blank. All right, Sprinkle Star Seal I'll be taking. Oh, that's such just... It's just like a real... Oh, you can remove it. You just have to up... That's really interesting. Who did this? Who... Ah, I can't even check the card right now. Hang on. From Replay the Spy. Very nice. Very nice, Evil Pickle. I like it a lot. Like it, love it, want more of it. That's really cool. I... Mm. <laughs> this is very clearly like a mimicry of the terror effect that exists in the silent. That's... Oh, 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 oh. Ah, since we have temporary HP, you're actually going to have some trouble with that, are you not? Aww. It didn't remove. But it was fleeting. This card purchases and removed from your deck. Then it's unplayable soulbound when I pull it up. It's going to be which greed defense strike. First card I play next turn is going to be double. Got to keep that in mind. Obviously, double energy flow. Weaken the enemy until the end of time. That temporary HP to try and keep us alive. Untested repairs is in multiple different positions in my deck. I put it in my discard pile and then it was there again. I didn't have the energy left to kill. It's okay, we're still fine, but... Woo! When I said fine, what I meant is... <laughs> still got the kill. And flawlessly. That's a lot of potions. Don't even need them. Dragon Meteor deals one additional damage for each card in your discard pile. Uh uh, not gonna be taking that. Treasure Hunter. It's real good. Stardust Reverie. Shuffle your hand into your draw pile, then add that many random cards into your hand. No. It's Treasure Hunter or nothing here, and I don't think it's Treasure Hunter. But I could just use Treasure Hunter in only elite or boss rooms as my killer and then get a ridiculous amount of relics. Sure. Runic Octahedron. Now, this is really interesting with Marissa because you get a bunch of zero-cost cards and then Runic Octahedron, draw one fewer cards each turn, uh, or one fewer card each turn. Um, 
every time you play two cards in a single turn, draw a card. So you just, it gives you the cycle Marissa doesn't necessarily have. Uh, Virtuous Blindfold, gain energy at the start of each turn. You can no longer see the entire map. That's really unfortunate because it would entirely invalidate my treasure map. Uh, Hollow Soul, when you would die in combat, immediately restart the fight with 10% max HP, which is the same. Regain your original max HP and recharge this relic if you win the fight. I think I take that. It's just going to give me a second chance with no problems, I think. That's super cool. All right, what relics or what relics? Or a Calcum, eh. Tiger Marble, eh. Pendib, hell yeah. It's good to me. Uh, ringing Soul. <laughs> uh, plus three max HP whenever you pick up a card. Tin Flute would give me the ability to carry one of these cards. Oh, <gasps> I could put the duct tape in the next character I play. Oh, that's super interesting, but I don't know if I should do it. Runic de Dekahid, that's just extra energy for us. We we have to take that. Which means we should go for the Tin Flute, yeah. Okay. Rocket Booster, and eh, that's not going to be super useful. Shallot would actually be really good. I say Shallot, but I understand that's not necessarily how everyone says it. Two shops, though, is really nice. I'd like to go to defeat the nightmare over there and then teleport over, but I really want those two shops. Yep, definitely forgot that the Joker card was the thing. One thing this deck doesn't really have is AoE. So Untested Repairs has... It seems to be trying to take up two slots. This is something I've seen occasionally happen before when one card is trying to be in two positions. Thankfully, we've got a ridiculous amount of temporary HP. Otherwise, we could be in some real trouble right now. Oh, God. We're not capable of winning this combat in the typical way that I would. If we try and do that, we are going to have them all on high HP at the wrong time. Like, I can absolute magnitude to destroy someone. But the problem is I'm going to need to get all of their HP kind of equally down. Frontliner is going to die hitting me. Backliner is going to pepper itself down. Okay. And you die while attacking me. Darkling doesn't. See how... See how there's two cards in my discard pile? That, that also accounted for two of my draws as well, which is... Which is going to make life really difficult for me. Another untested repairs. Damn. Do I have to upgrade it again in order to remove it? Or is it like a chance to remove rather than it just removes? I'm just getting a bunch of money at the end of this combat, but the thing is, I'm just trying to end the combat before I die. Yeah, 
let's 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 pass on those. Upgrade all cards you can no longer heal is actually fine for us. Because we can't heal anyway. We have one maximum HP. Off of the golden idol, thank you. Gint fall, lose a simple spark. More than happy to. Ooh, that's a really good string of things right there. Sprouting branch at the start of each combat game, five regen has no effect on me whatsoever. <laughs> um, Cunning disguise. On pickup, choose another character. On future card rewards screens, you have one additional card to choose from and it will be from that character. The thing that immediately comes to mind for me is ironclad so that I can either get the entrench or whirlwind. Who's our boss this floor? Time okay. See, I know I have another shop, so I really shouldn't fight them here. But unless that's a shop, I think I fight in the next space, which is going to give me a ridiculous amount of... Oh, it's going to be so good. Okay, so I have to upgrade it then I can remove it. Now I understand. Am I a dog cat or a uh, dog cat? Am I a dog cat or a cat dog? Cat dog. Alone in the world, a little cat dog. One fine day with a wolf and a bird. A baby was hurt. A baby was born to cause a little stir. Something, 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 something. Other words and lyrics in that song. Cat dog. Cat dog. Alone in the world, a little cat dog. Charge him. I can't believe we've got three energy and it's like, yeah, it's totally fine. Who needs more? That special sausage has actually turned out to be real good. Go. Nope, don't need any of those. Shroom Brew is interesting, but not much of my deck that I really want to exhaust. All right, no matter what I want to do here, I just fight, right? Oh, those are all going to be really good for us. It's fight time. It's fight night, put up your dukes. Does this count? Uh, charging up would immediately charge us to full though. And then treasure hunter would be extra kill, overkill rather. Thankfully the second, tr uh, second hit didn't trigger so the joker card didn't increment. That's really thoughtful. <gasps> Double duck tape. Take that bear's endurance. Joker card? What was the Joker card? You didn't do like it. Oh, sorry, that's me trying to start an engine. Why'd that happen? Galactic Halo and then Witch of Greed. I just want the extra money, that's all. So I don't need the extra potion. Any buffs. Alright. We're to the point that Absolute Magnitude ought to be lethal. That's some serious damage. Ugh. Charge up, defend, double up on energy recoil here. You're getting serious here, uh, Merchant, apparently. Nice try, though. I'd love to Witch of Greed before Absolute Magnitude, but then I don't get... 
Oh no, but I can Witch of Greed before Simple Spark and then kill with it. So you get nice rugs. Start each combat with one bladed arm for every 50 gold you have. We also get Beetle Shell. Every 10th time you gain block from a card, gain double the block and fossilize Helix the first time you lose HP each combat. Prevent it. Uh, orange balance. Whenever you play a power, attack, and skill in the same turn, remove all of your debuffs as well as... Nope. Uh, no, thank you. Don't want that. Probably have too many of those already. Don't need that. Brewmaster. Obtain a random potion at the start of each round. We could do that, but I think that's in excess to necessity. Oh, this is really... 34. Yeah, 34 plated armor. What do you think about that? What you know about 34 plated armor? <laughs> Alright, we're going to be treasure hunting here. Obviously and naturally. Okay. I can kind of just stand here and play all of my setup cards. Really no reason to do anything else. Oh, this is excellent. It's really unfortunate we got Treasure Hunter that early. Because now I just have to wait for an entirely new shuffle before I get to remove it. Remove it. Sorry, remove the enemy from the field with it. Insight sees nothing because it was at the very bottom of the deck. That's the one downside I talked about. I don't want to gain block again if I can avoid it. Because I've already got Beetle Shell charged. Uh, toy Battleship. Whenever you enter a rest site start, uh, during the next combat, the first card played each turn also draws one card as well as Tin Flute. Oh. That would actually be some nice AoE, but I don't need it. Tin Flute. Uh, sorry, Toy Battleship. Uh, Tin Flute, at the end of this run, choose one card in your deck. You start your next run with that card in your deck. We're going to have a Duct Tape card. I have to take the Sapphire Key here. That's something I didn't consider. I was actually going to have to take the key anyway. Now, as much as I want the Potion Belt, Runic Dodecahedron is an extra point of energy for us basically always. That's... That's better. Afraid it just is. Oh. <laughs> I don't need the extra potion in the end of combat, so. Oof. I'm going to double up on the charge up there, actually. Just trying to set up for the treasure hunter later. Right, Treasure Hunter should be lethal next turn. And it is. Hair, raising my HP by 10, as well as Runic Dodecahedron. If your HP is full, gain energy at the start of each turn. If our HP is ne uh, sorry, if our HP is ever not full, we've lost. We lost the game. That's the end. We died. I do need to go pretty aggressive here. Okay. I think one of the things I love here is that if I ever manage to mess up horribly, Hollow Soul has my back. I'm going to take Bull's Strength there just so that I have 
the a, a greater capability to take on these enemies with just standard attacks. to help me set them to a more reasonable HP value. Okay, and now it's literally just the midline Darkling. Come on. That'll do it. Take the Adrenaline Potion over the Steroid Potion there. Don't need it. Whoa! Bodies? No. I already have ways to deal damage. It's, it's not necessary. Ah, uh, that would have actually been a store. Damn. All right. Double up on the energy flow. Oh my gosh. We'll duct tape there for the fast endurance. of greed. Four cards a turn seems about the right way to be playing this for us. Obviously, we should duct tape here. Temporary HP, defend, defend. I'm just getting real close to this uh, treasure hunt of the win. Gonna get 125 at the end of this battle. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure hunted. And it's time for my first modded heart kill. I need to get Marisa like all the way up to Ascension 20. I am I'm having a whale of a time. Oh no, there of course would have been one more shot, but that said. We got a lot of value out of the shot that we did decide to kill, so. I don't think we really have much of a leg to stand on in being saddened there. Do I have a debuff? Apparently I did. What was it? No clue. Charge up, charge up. Oh, charge up again. All right. Thanks for playing. There's Treasure Hunter the first down. Take a Bears Endurance there. How about another Bears Endurance there? Defend before the Witch of Greed, because I only care about the money. All good, all good. Oh, it must have been like a reduction of strength from the enemies or something like that. And there's the magnitude. Sundial, every three times you shuffle your deck, gain two energy as well as a steroid potion. We'll take that. Corio would have been hilariously good for us earlier. Oh well. We don't really get debuffed that much. 
Okay, because we can remove a bunch of debuffs in a turn as long as we play an attack, a skill, as well as a par. So speed potion and steroid potion, we should be able to keep them. There's the big debuff. You are kidding me. All right. Ow. That's an attack, a skill, and a other. So we'll double up on energy flow. Then we'll play the skill. Then we'll play the attack. Purchase all of our debuffs. Burn the slime out of the hand. Awesome. Definitely taking out that duct tape now. Need more temporary HP. <laughs> Frankly, a little bit terrified. I'm trying to play out these Witches of Greed just so that I don't draw them again. But that, uh, that doesn't seem to be working that way right now. Mm-hmm. Energy recoil's real good there. Unfortunately, we can't deal that much damage in a single turn. That is to say how much HP the enemy has. Like, uh, there we go. Dealt 300 damage. Now it's, now I've got to wait. So I'm just going to have to try and make sure that I deal 300 damage every other turn. A lot of incoming damage. So there's a 300 for you. Magic absorb and defend. All right, pretty much any card should be able to do it now. Well, okay, maybe next turn. There we go. And we'll even treasure hunt you just at the very end there. Yeah, just plays the Ironclad victory. Figured as much. For the moment! My name is Vinraps- No, you know what? It's too early to do that. I want to see what the score is on this run because it might be the most bonkers score I've literally ever seen. Oh, no. It's, it's Ascension 1. So, it's real difficult to get ridiculously high in Ascension 1, but still pretty damn good. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game. It's been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we will see you next time.